Hello guys and girls, um, something a bit different today. Um, in my professional life um, I need to wrap up a few outstanding certificates. Uh, one of those certificates requires me to, to do a productivity solutions exam. That particular exam that I've chosen is the exchange 30, sorry, 70345 which is ex uh, deploying ex exchange 2016 solutions. So I thought, well, as I've got to refresh myself, because I've done an awful lot of Office 365 work, a lot of hybrid work for 2016, sorry, 2013, 2010, um, I needed to refresh myself on the, the on-premises 2016 provisions. Um, because, again, there are uh, less and less um, use cases for on-premises exchange um, Going forward with things like you know uh, Office 365. So um, in my lab that I'll be using to do this series on, uh, I'm going to have a single domain controller. Again, something I would always recommend is having multiple domain controllers. If you've got the ability to put them in uh, Azure or uh, AWS, you know with direct, with a direct connect or Express Route or site-to-site -site VPNs. That's probably the better way forward um, because it gives you site resilience as well um, without having to spend loads of money um, paying somebody to, to, to host your uh, spinning, spinning disk. Even if it's on a virtual machine and somebody has a data center, it's somebody else's um, your money that you're paying for. There'll be two multi-role exchange 2016 servers. They will be low balanced. Um, uh, uh, and they will have a uh, database ability, availability group set up between them. Again, we'll go through all of that. We'll go through single namespacing, etc., etc. Uh, and we'll have an, a single Office online server, which gives the feature-rich online editing of Word Office documents, very much akin to the online um, services that you'll get through Office 365. Um, obviously, the ones in 365 is much better because, again, it's managed and provisioned as a service to you from Microsoft. One Windows 10 client. Um, this will be used for testing Outlook connectivity, etc., etc. And one Azure Application Proxy Connector. Now, the reason this is here is that I will not be reverse proxying or through a firewall or, or, or whatever the Outlook Web Access. So I'm going to negate the need to, for, to purchase a certificate. Um, and what, I'll, what I'm going to be doing is provisioning my user access. Again, this is just a lab, so it's just a sort of a fictional sort of setup. Um, and that will be that will be they'll access it through the My Apps portal from Microsoft, which you get as part of um, Azure AD. Uh, now, of course, I appreciate that not everybody has uh, Azure AD, but it's one of the benefits you get. It gives you a, a, a portal like access to your um, applications. Again, you can use the Azure Online app, 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 the Azure Application Proxy Connector to securely provision local on-premises intranets, on-premises applications to the cloud without the need to punch holes in firewalls, etc. etc. Um, externally, it will be a single um, Exchange Edge, Edge server uh, we'll do all the nasty talking to the outside world. I log on to the MyApps portal so we can test this um, and um, you know show that, that on-premise action. And that's it. So I will see you in the next one. Hi guys and girls. Um, if you could like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you wish to. Um, things only get better with your input. Catch you later.